Yes, sir. So the line that you were asked to read, we get up next to him, and I said, stop, God damn it. And then you had to stop there. Mm -hmm. When you read that in context, it appears to you, does it not, that he's talking about the final encounter in the final seconds that's on video there at Holmes Road, almost to the intersection of Satilla Drive. Based on what he's describing yes, has sir. happened in the rest of that paragraph, right? Yes, okay, so the words stop, God damn it, he says he uttered or spoke to Mr. Arbery while he's in the back of the pickup truck on Holmes Road near Satilla at the end of this encounter, right? Somewhere on Holmes Road, yes, sir. That's, that's my understanding. Okay. And when he says that's what he said, uh, have you had a chance to review the case beyond your own body cam and your own transcript, for no, example? That's, that's had nothing to do with me. I haven't had any part of any further investigation. Once I left the scene, I was done with it. Right. I understand that part. My question, though, is in working the case, preparing for trial, coming here today, you have not looked at the video? No, sir. We're all calling the video. You haven't looked I, at that? I saw it when it first came out. Other than that, I have not seen it. Um, I can't testify to any of that, so I've, that's got nothing to do with me. Gotcha. Um, just trying to get what, you, what does have to do with you in its proper context here. So... When you watch that video, you saw Mr. McMichael, Greg McMichael, standing in the back of the pickup truck. Yes, sir. With a phone to his ear. I don't recall. You don't recall that? No, sir. I haven't seen that video. It's been, what, 20-something right. months? And you didn't listen to the 911 call that he was engaged in at no, the time? No, sir. Uh, last question. You would agree with me that if this quote we're talking about right here that he said to you is what he thinks he said to Ahmaud Arbery in the final seconds of their encounter and he's saying it while he's on an open 911 call that's recording it Objection. that the best form of question speculation yeah, I'm not asking him to speculate anything well, you're I didn't finish the question well but you're Sounds like a long hypothetical to a lay witness. It's not a hypothetical, Your Honor. It's, well, it's actual fact. I'm asking if I can finish the question, it would be very clear, and I think he'll be able to answer it. Well, let's finish the question, but okay. before you answer, let's go ahead and address what it is. So he, he's, Mr. McMichael's on the scene moments after all of this has happened, being recorded on your body cam, telling you what he thinks he said, the actual words he said to Ahmaud Arbery, right? Yes, sir. That's what he's doing here. Yes, sir. And so my question to you is um, a recording of what he actually said would be more reliable than even his own words to you. Wouldn't you agree? Objection. That's for the province of the jury to determine the reliability of anybody's statement. They're the ones who judge the credibility. Yeah, sustained on that. Okay, well, we'll, let, we'll get to that part then. Thank you, Officer Brandenberry. Oh, just one second. That's my co-counsel, Laura Hogue. We represent Greg McMichael. <clears throat> and so my question, now my last question is, if Greg McMichael had said anything to you that day that is any, in any way materially different uh, from what he told you the first, the second, and the third time you all went through the story, you would have noted that in your report, <coughs> wouldn't you? I believe so. Again, that's more for, for our investigators to look through my body camera and, and then have further questioning. 
but you wrote a report. Yes, sir, I did. It's about a page and a little more long. Yes, sir. You've seen it. Yes, sir. You've reviewed it. Yes, sir. And you didn't note in it any place where Greg McMichaels three times through the story differed in any way, did you? I'd have to look at my report. All right, I'll let you look at it. I've got a copy. Are you? Yes, sir. Okay. Good deal. Take a look at it. Have a page long. You read the whole thing if you need to. your question no sir I did not no sir you did not what I did not notate that he had any change in the story <clears throat> and if he had you would have notated that correct uh, I should have yes sir thank you sir 